actually first discovered you on Seriously Weird. What? Did they yeah. show that in America? They showed it on this weird channel called Wham! that played all these like foreign things. Okay, okay. But it showed Seriously Weird, which was like, I fell in love with that show. Yeah, it was um, a fun, wacky one. There was a guy, uh, one of the guys that wrote on it is this guy Mark Haddon, who like went on afterwards and like wrote all these amazing books. He wrote uh, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time. <laughs> Everyone's read it. It's a really good book. Mm -hmm. uh, there were some lovely people on it. it was yeah. Fun. What was like your favorite memory from that? From that, just the yeah. fact that it was my first unchaperoned job. I guess I turned 16 or whatever, so it's first oh. time I got to go and work on something without my mom. Oh. So that was fun. No. Not that I don't love mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you worked on a few different kinds of shows, like with Bones and Alpha. Yeah, yeah. Um, what what kind of style or genre do you lean towards? Well, I don't like dressing up. Like comedy when it's uh, when it's done really well, like when it's very I don't want to say dry, but very realistic kind of comedy. Uh, uh, that's what I like. But, yeah, just comedy and stuff. Uh, yeah. Like my favorite comedies are like like Boogie Nights is my favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Boogie Nights uh, and Rushmore. You know, like Coen Brothers style humor, Paul Thomas Anderson style humor, stuff like that. That's kind of very caustic. And, uh, yeah, that's what I that's what I love. Who's been your favorite character to play, do you think? Uh, I mean, Gary Bell was really good fun, just because I got to do a lot of research, and it was a nice... Uh it was nice, like, finding the realistic character and then allowing the humour to come through. Because with a character like that, you know, it, it's quite touchy. you got to make sure it's it's done realistically and, you know, you, you're, not, you're not offending anyone. So it was good to find the realism first and then be able to filter humour through it. That, that, that was really good. And then, but, you know, Bones is super fun as well. You know, they're the loveliest crew and actors and stuff. And then, like, Mad Men was really fun as well uh, so I don't know I like every, I've, I've had a really good time on everything that's good so far so what was it like dying on a what show what was it like dying it was miserable <laughs> It was miserable because I think it would have been fine if it was just like bang and I died, but I, I had to die, you know, I had to bleed out and like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone was just miserable, we were like, alright, cut, go and have lunch, everyone, yeah, it just it upset everyone. Uh, we weren't giggling on the set, oh. it, was, uh, it was grim, because I'm just there like bleeding out and Emily and David are crying above me and... I did get loads of free drinks from it. People were like, dude, I just saw you die, man. <laughs> so it was good. It has dying has its uh, plus points. That's oh, well, that's good. At least that. Yeah. It was just a really well done death. So good job. Good job dying. <laughs> it was the writing. They wrote the hell out of that. It was great. Yeah. What's your like fondest experience from working on Alphas then? Uh. I kind of like laughing, just the stuff like out of, like I love being in Toronto, Toronto is a lovely city, that was fun, uh, and uh, just the, just the humour of it, like it was a pretty heavy schedule, like everyone got tired and a bit irritable, but uh, what, what was nice as well is like David Strathairn's like the, the best pro, like the second every, anyone's like, oh, I'm not going to have an acting day, he's like there, you're like, oh, alright, I guess I will, I guess I'll try and... <laughs> <laughs> you know, come up to par. Um, but just, just the laughs, you know, it was, so, it was such a funny set for like a show that, you know, it, sh it, it shone through like the humour of it, uh, but um, the fact, what was lovely with that was we're, we were allowed to like improvise a lot, uh, uh, like actually like real improv, like during the take as opposed to, because sometimes it's like, oh, we improv, and, but then you write it down. Uh, so just, just knowing that you could do that was a real, it was just a fun uh, a little blessing. Uh, and everyone was, you know, everyone was lovely on it, all the cast and crew. It's a shame, man. You do a couple of years yeah. and then... I know. Uh, but whatever. They're all here. They're all at Comic-Con. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. We're at Comic-Con. Will you show that I'm not the only one that's dressed like this? Yeah. Yeah. on a show with Zach Penn. You know, yeah, writing, yeah, we're writing, writing this it. show for FX. Uh, it's like a comedy about social psychology experiments, and uh, what I'm hoping is I'll be in it as well, uh, I guess. Uh, 
so yeah, it's, it's still like early days. We're just finishing writing the pilot, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll be shooting that sometime towards the end of the year. Okay, cool. Any anything else you can mention about it, or is it all hush hush? No, it's not hush hush. It's uh, it's just like a half hour comedy. Like uh, you know, we want it to be really funny, so we're taking our time writing it. Uh, oh. And it'll be subversive because it's FX, which is a great network. You know, you can get away with with a hell of a lot there. Like, and they're lovely. They're the best like creative people to work with. You know, they they just let you do whatever you want. I say that pre getting notes from them, but uh, oh, it, roughly it's that. Yeah. You hope to be in it. Yeah, I mean, they. Yeah, it was before, just before pilot season. So I, we sold the show to them, and there was like a standard contract for like acting services. Uh, but we were like, oh well, let's hold up just in case I get a huge pilot, which I didn't. So, uh, so I'll probably be going back with my tail between my legs and going, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> what kind of what kind of role would it be? Like the protagonist? Young or? Bill Murray, obviously. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like uh, uh, one of the guys that works in the lab, who's very kind of lazy and uh, a bit of a schlub. Okay, cool. Anything else you're working on now that you can tell us about? Uh, or might be working. I might be popping back to the Sci Fi Channel briefly. I can't say in what yeah. capacity, but I think I'm going to pop back and uh, uh, hang out on a Sci Fi set in the next few weeks. Cool. Yeah, yeah, super, yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's all the time I'll take More of you. More than welcome. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs>